What's going on? Welcome back to Sunny Slope Garage, a series on my 1971 Chevy C20 C10 conversion restoration project. If you're new to the channel, my name's Mike, and uh, we're having a giveaway. And what we're going to give away is a free subscription to my YouTube channel. All you got to do is click down below to subscribe and you're entered into the contest. So uh, I'm probably going to lose subscribers for that one. Moving on. Yes, we are taking the front end of this 71 Chevrolet off tonight. Biggest problem I'm going to have is how do I get this honking hood off by myself? Um, I'm not too worried about damaging any of these body panels and stuff because they are getting scrapped. If you haven't watched my last video, I'll put it up a uh, link of card up top because we're basically, we're keeping the hood. Uh, I forgot what this piece is called. Obviously glass body panels, frames, so, so forth. We were going to keep the front radiator support, but a little further investigation is rotted out down where they're typically rotted out at underneath the battery box. So nothing we can do about that. We're going to have to replace it. And I'm thinking about going with a different front end. I don't know guys. Uh, we're thinking maybe a 67, 68. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I was never a big fan of the 71s, but it is what it is. I like the trucks regardless. Just if I had a, if I had a choice, if I got to replace this whole front end and all I got to do is fork up a hood, I'd probably go with the 67, 68. But moving on, I got the shop heater going. I should have fired up earlier tonight. Life got busy, but needless to say, it's colder than a well digger's. But enough about me. Let's try to get this hood off. We're just, we'll go from there. We'll see what happens. We'll feel what the what the vibe is of this truck tonight. If she's fighting me, I'm just gonna go up top, call another day. But you guys will be there for that. So let's get to it. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure how. Probably gonna wind up breaking something. I think I need to get a extra hand out here. Welcome, your buddy, Stick. Found a stick on the ground and now I'm gonna use it. All this power that I found, gonna totally abuse it. Stick is always there in a tight spot. Always offering support when in need. So, we'll use Stick. Thank you, Stick. Easy stick, don't, don't bail on me, brother. Sometimes stick, he's not the best help, but he's kind of like your only help, so see what happens. I'm gonna set you guys right here because I don't want stick to bail at the last second and hit you guys, so this is for your safety. And uh, I'm gonna get my gloves on because I don't want any of these sharp edges cut my little flanges off. All right, stick, you ready? You got a good, all right. You good? All right, let's do this. All right, we're free. The problem is I didn't know what I was gonna do after, after this point. My biggest fear is dropping that hood in the back of that windshield if I was to bring it up, tip it, slide it back in the hinges and pop that windshield. Because it's a fairly good windshield. It's got one little rock chip in it, but I think it's easily fixed. Ooh. Ooh. What did I get myself into? All right, commitment. 
Go big, go home, right? Thanks for your help, Stick. I might need you later. Would be really nice and ideal if I could get that hood up on that uh, the roof there, or even on the back side over there, which is not a problem. But I'd like to get it up there. That'd be really nice. But I think I'm just gonna have to wind up sliding it off, put it off to the side right now. I might just leave it like that. That's actually kind of cool. It's kind of like a big giant hood scoop. You're doing a good job, Stick. Keep on doing what you're doing. Oh, this old Detroit Steel is heavier than you people think. I don't want to smash that nose. I don't want to do any more body work. lost it. This video is sponsored by uh, Cedar Stick. I don't know, I think every shop and garage should have one. You know, when you don't have, when you don't have that extra set of hands, always go to Stick. He's always there for me. And when they break, I just heat the shop with them. Yeah, getting the hood off, it changes things. I'm gonna have a little bit more space to get to some stuff, but, oh, uh, yeah. That front radiator support, you could tell, right down there, they got some holes in the inner fender wells, but most part, yeah, she's shot. She's done. Uh, you guys ask, you know, why, why did I get such a rotten truck to start a project off with? Well, for one, this truck is pretty much bone stock and hasn't been bastardized underneath the hood. You know, no chrome valve covers, no shoddy wiring going on. And I think the only thing that's bad about this truck is they cut the dash and put an aftermarket uh, stereo in. And they got rid of the front seat because obviously it wore out. And they're farm boys, so they just grabbed something that worked. Um, but yeah, she is in horrible condition. But I'm not afraid of the work, nor should you. Well, I didn't pay a whole lot for this truck. I paid about $2,500. Now, uh, that's not saying that's not a lot of money but it's it's not that bad for around here and you texas boys you southern boys yeah keep it to yourselves we know that you guys have those three thousand dollar dream machines down there with no rust whatsoever yeah suck it what did you just say to me little shit suck it i know i understand lived in texas seen it i didn't get one when i was down there wish i would you guys are lucky we bow our heads to you we're not worthy we're not
Well, it's about one in the morning and we've got the front end off this truck. Fire's getting low, starting to cool off. <laughs> Actually used some, uh, some ash, some old ash out of the fire to clean up some of this antifreeze, but there she is. Now, uh, we did see that we do have some, some rust down there in the cab corners. You know, not too bad. It's all fixable. My main concern was making sure that this right here wasn't all rotted out because these things are notorious for water getting down in here and then rotting out the bottom right here. And there was no way of seeing that with the fender on. But it doesn't look like it's too bad. Looks like maybe there's some surface rust. Who knows? But uh, we'll pull this heater fan out eventually. When we get ready to take this cab off, we'll bust it all down, pull it all out. We'll actually get a peek down inside there and see what's going on. But uh, for the most part, it's just really dirty. Now the challenging part I'm gonna have, obviously is I'm probably gonna, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna clean this stuff up being in the winter time. It's gonna be probably just a lot of wire wheeling and uh, vacuuming. So yeah, we got the wire harness pulled off. It's in fairly good shape, but I do plan on replacing all that obviously. So the next episode, you guys can expect us to get the doors off, pull the seat out. We're gonna pull the, the floor mats out and stuff and we're going to see what's underneath that floor mat really all the way across to see what the damage is um maybe we'll pull the glass out maybe and uh, we'll start prepping the cab for removal and then uh after that we'll have to see what happens so man i am really happy that none of this stuff is really rusted out too bad because like i say up in my area they rust out really bad in these areas right here <laughs> all the time. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's been a long night making it. And uh, I forgot to mention that we're getting new shop lights too. So eh, we're getting about eight foot LED shop lights. So this place is going to be bling blinging. <laughs> You'll have to wait till the video comes out for that one. So. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Sunny Soul Garage. Thanks for watching, guys.